Welcome once again to Commander by Danan. Today's video was brought to us by Patreon supporter Naswin. Huge thanks to Naswin and the rest of my Patreon supporters. Naswin reached out asking for a deck led by Ghidorah, King of the Cosmos. The reason? He has a friend who is building a Godzilla King of the Monsters deck. This friend got inspired after a trip to Japan, and now thinks he's justified in building a King of the Monsters deck. This cannot stand. After all, there can only be one Apex Predator, and Ghidorah fits the bill. Godzilla could never beat the King of the Cosmos without the help of his little insect girlfriend. Ghidorah was crowned king by the Zillions. Mothra was crowned the queen of the monsters by Toho's vision itself. Godzilla was crowned king for American audiences by producer Edmund Goldman. He does not have the right to make monarchy. If anything, the only argument for Godzilla being king of the monsters is that he is, in fact, the king consort to Queen Mothra. Okay, okay, that's enough. We're a magic channel, not a Godzilla channel. <sighs> if you're enjoying my content, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate the support, and if you like the decklist, consider sharing this video as well. Ghidorah, King of the Cosmos, is a 5-mana 6-6 legendary beast elemental dinosaur with flying and trample. We may mutate him for 6 mana, either above or below any non-human creature we control. If we do, we exile cards from the top of our library until we exile a non-land permanent card. We then put that card onto the battlefield or into our hand. When I first saw this creature, I had the thought to build something evil. Something showcasing the power of Teemer as well as the power of Ghidorah. Gotta put Godzilla in his place after all. So what if we built an entire deck where there were only a couple of non-land permanents? Permanents powerful enough to win the game on the spot or that would enable us to win the game quickly. But before we get to our deck list, a quick word from our sponsor, Ultimate Guard. One of my favorite products Ultimate Guard has is their Xenoskin Sidewinder. The Sidewinder has a soft microfiber lining as well as the rugged Xenoskin shell we've all come to love. While the Sidewinder isn't a new product, they are now available in the beautiful two-tone Synergy series, like this red-white one seen here. Find it if your local game store carries Ultimate Guard products, or click on the link down below to order yourself one from Amazon. In order to build a functional commander deck, you need lots of different pieces, which is why I try to rely on my handy dandy checklist. 50 mana sources, usually split between 37 lands and 13 pieces of ramp, 10 pieces of card advantage, 8 to 10 pieces of spot removal, 2 to 3 board wipes, 2 pieces of graveyard hate, and 1 sudden I win card. One last announcement before we get into our video. In addition to streaming on Twitch, I will be dual streaming on a new YouTube channel as well. Check out Gaming with Danan if you want to catch me live. Command Tower, Exotic Orchard, Misty Rainforest, Scalding Tarn, Wooded Foothills, Verdant Catacombs, Flooded Strand, Arid Mesa, Ketria Triome, Breeding Pool, Steam Vents, Stomping Ground, Rejuvenating Springs, Training Center, Spire Garden, Dreamroot Cascade, Stormcarved Coast, Rockfall Vale, Hedge Maze, Thundering Falls, Commercial District, Care Keep, Kalani Garden, Den of the Bugbear, Dwarven Mine, Field of the Dead, Five Forests, Three Islands, and Three Mountains make up the land base for our deck. Three Visits, Nature's Lore, Rampant Growth, Farseek, Cultivate, Kodama's Reach, Beneath the Sands, Explosive Vegetation, Migration Path, 
Sky Shroud Claim, Hour of Promise, Desperate Ritual, Pyretic Ritual, Seething Song, and Mana Geyser help us to ramp out and stay ahead of the curve. Echo of Eons, Archdruid's Charm, Jessica's Will, Eureka Moment, Growth Spiral, Explore, Frantic Search, Urban Evolution, Wheel of Misfortune, Brainstorm, and Big Score help us to dig through our deck and keep our hands full. Commit Memory, Cleansing Wildfire, Access Denied, An Offer You Can't Refuse, Beast Within, Pongify, Rapid Hybridization, Artifact Mutation, Arachnogenesis, Negate, Counterspell, Heroic Intervention, Arcane Denial, Tamiyo Safekeeping, Verdant Command, and Titania's Command help us to keep our opponents in line. Cyclonic Rift, Blasphemous Act, Consuming Tide, Aetherize, and Azuri's Predation help us to reset the board as needed. Omniscience and Thousand Year Storm are the only two non land permanents in our deck. Dragon Spotter and Krenko's Command help us to create more mutate targets, while Alrin's Epiphany, Alchemist's Gambit, Beacon of Tomorrows, Capture of Jingzhou, Karn's Temporal Sundering, Expropriate, Nexus of Fate, Seed Time, Temporal Manipulation, Temporal Mastery, and Time Warp help us to close out games and remind everyone that we are the Apex Predator. Now that we have our deck list, let's compare it to our checklist. 52 mana sources split between 37 lands and 15 pieces of ramp. A little high, but fitting due to our deck strategy. 11 pieces of card advantage. 16 pieces of interaction. 5 board wipes. 4 pieces of graveyard hate in Commit Memory, Verdant Command, Titanius Command, and Echo of Eons. 2 Sudden I Win cards in Omniscience and Thousand Year Storm. Omniscience allows us to cast any card from our hand without paying its mana cost. Now, this is considered an alternate casting cost, and you can only have one of those. In other words, this means we cast the base spell, not the overloaded version of the spell, nor the cleave version. It's also the reason we don't have any X spells in the deck. Of course, our other non-land permanent, Thousand Year Storm, can close out games just as quickly. If we cast a spot removal spell, then one of our rituals, then a turn spell, that'll give us three turns back to back which won't win us the game by itself, but it should make our opponent scoop, which is right and proper. All should bow down to the king. Now, the playstyle for this deck is to just sit back and wait for an opportune moment to win the game. We're running extra control as well as turn spells in our deck. That's how we plan on winning. We take a bunch of extra turns and kill our opponents with commander damage. We want our commander to mutate and cheat out either on Omniscience or a Thousand Year Storm. We have lands that produce non-human tokens. I know that Field of the Dead gets a lot of hate, but it works really well in this deck. And even some of our interaction and spot removal spells can create creatures which our commander can mutate onto. So a good opening hand for this deck will have a variety of lands, ramp, interaction, and card advantage. If you're missing any one of these, except for lands, don't stress. There is plenty in the deck. If you only have two out of the three, say, lands and interaction, you may want to consider a mulligan. Of course, if you have either Omniscience or Thousand Year Storm in your opening hand, you'll definitely want to mulligan. We're not in CEDH, so you don't want your win cons in your opening hand. Do you have a Ghidorah, King of the Monsters deck? What about a deck led by one of the other Daikaiju? Leave a comment below. Thanks for tuning in. Once again, a huge shout out to my editor Cute Stuff. I couldn't make these videos without her. If you'd like to hire her to edit your own videos, she can be reached at cutestuff.edits at gmail.com. Link is down below. 
If you're looking for ways to support the channel directly, you can head on over to patreon.com slash Danon. For only $25, you too can have a Commander video built at your request. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to all of my patrons. Waffles, Jariah, Danny, Muffins, Marcus, Squishy, Brett, Roxy, Sean, Pob Zombie, Mark, Borgie, Nazwin, Pedro, Midge, Tetroff, Alex, Alex, Julio, Michael, Valeri, Conga, Ignis, RJ, and J. You guys are awesome. I post new Commander Deck videos every weekday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again next time on Commander by Danon.